Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronnie and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this beautiful fall makeup look. Please don't forget to like, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So we're going to start in with the Hangover Face Primer from Too Faced. I normally don't use face primers because I feel like it doesn't do anything, but it claims to be hydrating and I'm just going to use it as a moisturizer. For a foundation, I'm going to be blending two foundations, the Becca Ultimate Covered Foundation and the Bobbi Brown Fluid Powder Foundation. I love mixing both formulas together because they give me the perfect satin finish. Once all is blended, I then go with the e.l.f. camo concealer. I apply that under my eyes, in the middle of my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, on the side of my nostrils, and on my chin. You gotta make sure we highlight them beautiful areas of your face. Once all is blended, I'm going to go in with the Honest Beauty Sculpted Medium Contour Kit. This thing is amazing when it comes down to actually sculpting your face. I absolutely love it. Like if you see my chipmunk cheeks, they're going to be gone in a second. I'm going to look like the most snatched person ever by the end of this video. I like to apply the contour when my face naturally shadows. So for example, underneath my cheekbones, my bone structure already has kind of like an indention. So wherever you feel a slight indention or the entrance of your bone, I dig the brush there because that's the most natural contour you'll ever get. But it'll still sculpt your face like, my gosh, I can't explain. But anyway, you're going to see how sculpted that face is going to look in just a second. Look at that flawless finish. Absolutely love it. Ronnie approves. <laughs> so now I'm going to go with the Honest Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Truly Exciting. Another one of my favorite products. You don't need much, it pops up. It's so beautiful and it blends like butter. To set everything in, I'm going to use the Tardius Pro Glow Palette. I'm going to go over the contour in the cream blush with the bronzer and blush that's in the palette to set everything in so that they don't move around throughout the day. To set my face, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I used to bake, but now I just tap it in like so. And I do it underneath my eyes, in the middle of my forehead, and to chisel out them cheekbones, I do it underneath my contour. So, I don't know if it's just my skin, I don't know if it's the product, but I feel like this recently has been very tightening on my skin and it scares me. So if you guys have any recommendations of good translucent powders that don't feel as tightening, please let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, with the brush, I'm just going to brush off all the excess powder to smooth out my face. For the eyes, I'm going to go in with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Not only am I going to use that as my eyelid base, but I'm also going to use it to conceal the underneath of my eyebrow. And then with the tip of my finger, I'm just going to tap it out so that it can blend seamlessly. Then I'm going to use a Tarte Sunrise palette. And right where my crease is at, in the inner part of my eye, I'm just going to lightly swivel 
back and forth to create a little curved line there just to follow my natural shape. I then I'm gonna almost do like a half wing liner but with the eyeshadow kind of just flick it outwards at the outer part of my eye. I forgot to mention that when you're working on your crease area you don't want to bring it all the way out you just bring it towards the middle of your eye. So right here I'm just going to deepen in the shadow with a darker shade to give it a little bit more of some depth and definition. With a concealer I'm just going to carve out that crease area that I did initially just to kind of sharpen it out a little bit and make it look deep in my crease if that makes sense but if you notice I'm not going to go outwards with the concealer I'm only going to touch my lid only the lid with the concealer to clean out the part and also I'm gonna try not to fidget with the let's say smoky liner that we did just gonna clear the part that has been untouched on my lid Once I'm happy with the desired shape, I'm gonna go in with a champagne color, like a champagne shimmer, to set it all in. And to give the look a little bit more of a oomph, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Precision Eyeliner in the color black. You don't have to do this, but it makes a difference. Moving on to my lips, I'm going to use the Italia Deluxe Lip Liner in the color brown. Let me tell you guys, I think that this is an absolute dupe for a MAC lip liner. They are so creamy and they last all day and they're only a dollar, I think. <laughs> then I'm going to go with a Doja Cat Cloud Coat, I believe. And I'm very sorry, I do not know what shade this is. To tie it all in, I applied some lashes and this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you guys so very much. I will see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye.